Einsteinium, the most mysterious element of the periodic system. And let's uh, just highlight it here on this partial portion of the periodic table. It's in the actinide series now. Very bottom of the group here, ES is its symbol, atomic number 99, and one of the isotope with uh, atomic weight of 253. So we have 253 and we have 252 Einstein, yeah? 253 showing up here. And because Mendelevium will also comes up during the, the, the decay, let's highlight Mendelevium. Onium, uh, 101, 258, also in the actinide series, and also Berkelium will show up. But this one is 97, but the Berkelium 99 will show up in the radioactive decay. That's Berkelium. And we also have plutonium uh, by detonation of uh, nuclear uh, re reaction here. We had plutonium uh, giving rise to Einsteinium. And we also had uranium is about 92. Where's 92 here now? 99, 98, 62, 95, uh, 94, 93. So 92 would be over here. 92 in the corner here. Uranium will also pop up in our Einsteinium, the most mysterious metal. So uranium by uh, producing from nuclear uh, reactors reaction will uh, give rise to Einsteinium. So uranium-238 will give rise to Einsteinium. So, okay, our little magnified board is blank tonight, but let's uh, turn around and do some more uranium. So here we have now Einstein of 99, the focus of tonight, the most mysterious element, a synthetic element, not found naturally in nature, in nature but found from mostly some nuclear reactions and thermonuclear reaction and the decay of other uh, uh, elements. And we'll show you uh, the decay giving rise uh, to berkelium 99 and also technetium 99 and molybdenum. Here's uranium also, as we mentioned, uranium 238 is a, a source of the Einsteinium. Okay. So Einsteinium, the most stable isotope, has a half life of about 471.7 days. So the most stable isotope of Einsteinium has a half life of about 471.7 days. It decays into berkelium with an atomic mass of 298, 248 rather, so here's berkelium, and this one is really 247, but it decays into uh, berkelium 248, the, the, the Einstein with half life 471.7 days decays into berkelium 247, and I guess the atomic number would be 97. And berkelium 298 by alpha decay. So it, dec it, it, it decays by alpha decay into berkelium 248. No, berkelium 240 uh, by alpha decay give rise to californium uh, 252. And we haven't had the californium here tonight, but we could have, that's, uh, have uh, a symbol of CF, 
californium let's see if we could uh if it's tangible here optically tangible that is in vision or optimally uh, tangible i don't see it uh, in the or the things here let's look at the other one over there yeah californium 98 it's over there uh in the corner and 251 but let's see what's the atomic mass of the californium so it's californium 252 by alpha decay is produced from this uh berkelium 248 and by electron capture which one is by let's get this uh let's get the ambiguity out of the way here there's a little bit of ambiguity here so we have the half-life of this uh einsteinium 471 Point seven days. It, dec it decays into berkelium two forty eight. By alpha decay. Or into californium two five two by electron capture. So it decays into uh, berkelium two forty eight by alpha decay or californium 252 by electron capture and since only very small amount of einsteinium is, is ever produced it is used you know for scientific research now einsteinium uh the price of it is like 0 0.007 dollars united states dollars within a day and uh, within a day's trading it can go up to $57.96 and that was the statistics for February 2024 $57.96 from a price of 0 0.007 uh, United States dollars no MO99 and Technetium 99 are also uh, used which are derivatives now of this Einstein, yeah? 40,000 times in a day in medical procedures in the United States. And each, and it's used to diagnose you know, heart disease, heart failure, and cancer. And to study the other organ structure and function. So you see the use of this MO99 uh, radioisotope and technetium 99 radioisotope used in heart disease uh, diagnosis and uh, cancer research diagnosis and to study the organs of the body and the structure of their function. Now it perform other important uh, medical application as well. So apart from the cancer research and the uh, heart disease diagnosis and organ structure and function, it has other medical use. Now Einsteinium is uh, recovered from the debris of uh, a thermonuclear bomb test which is different from a, uh, a, an atomic bomb. The bomb was detonated in the Pacific Island here on November 1, 1952, and the debris from the test was sent to the Berkeley California University Laboratory, the Berkeley University of California, Oakley, Berkeley rather, Berkeley, yeah, not Oakley but Berkeley. Now uh, let's look at some reaction of Einsteinium where it reacted with air and oxygen to form Einsteinium oxide, Einsteinium 3 oxide which is ES3 oxide or ES2O3. So ES plus H2O Water or steam give you ES2, which is Einsteinium O3, Einsteinium 3 oxide. Now it also reacts with the allergens, 
And you know what allergens is like uh, chlorine, fluorine, bromine, iodine, those are the popular ones. It reacts uh, with the uh, allergens and all those to give you Einsteinium compounds. Most mysterious element, it measures point 859.9 degrees centigrade. It has no smell. Uh, you should not eat it, although there's not enough to, for you even to get around to eat, and it doesn't stay around long, uh, as it is not found uh, naturally in nature. So we're going to look at the, the reaction with allergens, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine, and this reaction with oxygen. And Einsteinium 252 decays into berkelium 248. So Einsteinium 252 decays into berkelium 248 via alpha decay. Or the Einsteinium 252 dec uh, decays into californium 252 by electron capture. And that's the end of our. Uh, Einstein notes and Einstein reaction and Einstein properties and characteristic a very mysterious element as they call it and given in honor or name in honor of that famous scientist Albert Einstein E equals mc squared that very uh, popular equation as energy is equal to mass times c square which is the velocity of light square and this was the whole much of other element that was interactive with this Einsteinium Einsteinium decaying into Berkelium 248 and Einsteinium also decaying into Californium 252 by a uh, electron capture and plutonium uh, was a source of the Einsteinium in, deto in the de detonation of nuclear uh, reaction and uranium was also a source of the Einsteinium. So that's it. And because of FISO drain tonight with my energy. This is the only one, this is the first time I only uh, just accomplished one element in the night. And this night would be Einsteinium. Although there was other interactive elements during the decays and during the source uh, to produce uh, this Einsteinium. It was only one that I actually fo focused upon and the others were spin-offs. Einsteinium, name after that famous scientist, Albert Einstein, the most mysterious element.